Hello folks, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about my one year with the Lumix S5 Mark II X and basically my experience with it. But let's go straight into a couple of cons that I have found in this year of use. So the first one is Moray. Of course, it's going to have uh, a bit of moray issues. Some people exaggerate and say there's going to be a lot of moray, but um, I haven't really found it or I have found it, but it's not really distracting for me. And you're really going to find it if you are actually really looking for it. So um, if you look for it, you'll find it. But if you really don't look for it, nobody will even notice it. And it's easy or easily fixable, um, in my opinion, for the type of way that I have used it. So, yeah, I don't know. The second uh, con is rolling shutter. Um, I have filmed in a documentary where uh, I was basically shooting a person sitting in a tram and then we were passing basically uh, because it was in front of a window. So um, it wasn't really that distracting or that bad uh, as you saw or you were seeing. So, well, up to you to judge and it depends how you shoot mostly. So um, for my type of shooting, for my way of shooting, I haven't seen any big issue there, but I know there have been a lot of people who have seen um, that issue and that has bothered them so much to change camera system that's uh, on them. But for me, everything was good. And that are more or less all the cons for me, only two. Because this camera, let's say it all, it's fantastic for the price range where it is. It's still the king in its price range because the Nikon um, Z6 Mark III, the Canon R6 Mark II, and the Sony, um, a74 they are all above as a price the first two so the Canon and the Nikon or Nikon they are basically above 3000 in Europe while the Sony a74 is depending sometimes it goes to 24 so to 2400 or 2800 so that kind of the price range depending on um, basically uh, what kind of deal you are kind of trying to find and now you can find it pretty much in the used market but the price range is that so the s5 mark ii x it's still at 2200 here in europe and there are deals going on constantly where you can even find it below 2000 so that's kind of a steal for what this map camera deliver. But let's go into the pros now. So the AF, since they have basically updated the last firmware update, the 3.0, the autofocus doesn't miss for me. It's amazing. I love it. Uh, and I, <laughs> for me, it's just mind blowing how good this autofocus is and let's remember that this is the first attempt for this new phase hybrid detect autofocus for Lumix so they are doing an amazing job and now um, they are basically I can't say on par with Sony because that would be a lie with Canon probably and with Nikon I have to say that they are there in there so it's amazing um, the AF is just amazing vlog vlog is straight on the best log that you will use in any mirrorless camera the color reproduction is amazing black skin tones are amazing i'm not filming on on the lumix right now i'm filming on my iphone um because i think that's going to be my new setup the iphone with a little mount and stuff like that i will talk about it in another video but yeah so you probably on the screen you will see some video scrolling where you can see some beautiful lumix colors so that is an amazing pro for me the recording of ssd externally that is amazing that's the only 
um, the Lumix S5 Mark II X and the Lumix lineup of camera in general, not all of them, but the newest ones are the only mirrorless camera that re have this feature. For some people, it's a problem because there is a card dangling around. I will do a video about my cinematic setup and I have never found an issue on any of the documentaries where I have worked with this camera and I was using basically an SSD where, where I asked the production, cam uh, production uh, manager to just deliver me with a couple of SSDs so that at the end of the shooting, I would just head into them and I didn't need to deal with it. And then they will send me some of the footages that I can have for myself and release them when I can release them. So that is an amazing feature. Then we have the dynamic range. The dynamic range that this camera has it's just amazing, okay? It's one of the best dynamic range with Sony uh, mirrorless cameras dynamic ranges because all the rest of them are below this two cameras, Sony and Lumix are the only cameras uh, companies that are really uh, crushing it with dynamic range in their sensors. Of course, you can never touch Ari or, you know, um, or RAND and all of those kind of cameras, but those are cinema cameras, not mirrorless cameras. And I'm talking about mirrorless, so you know what I'm talking about and you know what I mean. The open gate, the 6K open gate. Lumix is the only camera company in the full frame world of cameras that is delivering the full sensor readout of, cam of, uh, of the sensor. I don't understand why it's so difficult for companies to do that because I don't know, we are requesting it. So why not giving it? It's, it's kind of a weird thing that I'm not understanding why it's so difficult for camera companies to do that. But hey, Lumix does it. It does it beautifully and I'm not complaining at all about it and I'm pretty happy about it. Then the proxy backup recording. Lumix with the new firmware update, the 3.0, basically allowed us to record proxies to the second um, memory card. So you will be recording your normal footage in one card and then proxy in the next card. And the other beautiful thing is Frame.io because that same proxy that you're recording as a backup can basically be sent to Frame.io, so basically C to C. Um, uh, cloud to cam uh, camera to cloud system workflow. So it's quite amazing workflow. And thank you, Sony. Uh, Sony, yeah. <laughs> well, Sony has it too, um, but not with Frame.io. But anyway, thanks, Lumix, for doing that. And then the last thing is B roll. B roll externally. It's just amazing. Uh, I, I, I just love b -Row because I'm a DaVinci Resolve user. I've canceled all my Adobe subscriptions because um, I want to do a video about it because they are freaking, they were stealing money, like for real. Uh, I found out that I, I had two subscriptions under them and they were basically taking money from both, both subscriptions, which were all the same photo package. So I was basically paying Lumix, um, the Lightroom and Photoshop twice for some reason. Then I wrote them when I, I kind of figured out what the heck was going on. And they were like, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Then in good faith, we will refund you all the money that you have paid in this month. And I'm like, in good faith? Yeah, let's talk about another video because that's a whole different topic. But anyway, these are the things that I love the most about this camera. Sorry, I forgot one thing. The stabilization in 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 this freaking camera. The stabilization in this freaking camera is mind blowing. And with the basically new firmware update, they even made it better by releasing the the high mode which it basically almost 
good as a micro four third sensor um, from Lumix, which is already the best stabilization in any system. They even made it better with the E stay <laughs> high mode. So I don't know, Lumix. Just release this <laughs> S1H Mark II. Just release it because we are waiting so badly for it. And the things that we have seen you, that Lumix is doing with the GH7, with the S9, which part of it will be coming in this camera soon. Not, I don't know when, but soon enough. I guess when they are ready. But the S1H Lumix, where it is. But write me down in the comment, what are the things you love about the Lumix S5 Mark II X? And if you are thinking of buying it and you haven't bought it yet, why not? Because it's quite an amazing camera. But hey, take good care of yourself. Stay blessed. And I'm going to see you in the next one.